How do you stream on the cheap? <laughs> that's a question after my own heart, because I'm a cheap ass, that's right. Uh, this comes from George in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And George writes, I have a pretty good high-end audio system with a threshold amplifier, a separate preamp, and a Meridian CD player. I want to start using a wireless streaming service like Cobuzz without investing an additional fortune in new equipment. Well, what should I look for as an option? Can I somehow use my DAC in my CD player? Um, well, uh, typically no. DAC, DACs inside of CD players are, I, I don't know that I've ever seen one that's accessible, uh, like you can separate a, uh, you know, in a receiver. You know, so I, I, typically those are kind of tied together. So I'm gonna have to say no on that one. You, hmm. That's, that's a tough one. Here's why. I, you, you're going to need a DAC, but I'll, I'll give you some, uh, if you don't want to spend a lot of money, get a Dragonfly. AudioQuest makes a, 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 this, that's a hundred bucks or something. I, I don't know how much it is, but it's like a little USB stick, like, like this thing. I mean, this isn't a dragon. It's actually a USB stick. <laughs> but they make a very good sounding DAC that just plugs into the side of a computer, which is where I will take you next. So to stream music, you're really only going to need a computer. That could be a laptop, it could be a desktop like this, and hey, you emailed me so you got a computer, right? So all you really need to do is sign up for Cobuzz, get a DAC somehow, because you don't want to take the sound out of your computer, because it'll sound like dog do. And, and there's not enough lipstick you can put on that pig to make it well. So you're going to need an external DAC. You can get one from, uh, like I say, AudioQuest makes the, the Dragon, Dragonfly, I think it's called. Um, our buddies over at Shit Audio, S C H I T T, yeah. Uh, they make some very affordable DACs. Uh, we make, uh, get a Sprout, uh, $6.99 or whatever the heck Sprout costs, get one of our little integrated, and that already has, you know, that built in. You can just use your phone and stream from there. So there's a number of options, but you're going to need a computer. Let's just take the option of a computer, and you have a separate DAC that then ties into your preamp and eventually the, the threshold and, and you hear music. Now, the one thing you want to remember about using a computer is that all of them sound bad. Whether you have a Windows system or a Mac system, do not rely upon the audio engines within those. So you're going to have to also invest in a program to circumvent, to reroute the audio around the horribleness that Apple and uh, Windows inflicts on, on music. You guys. No respect. I got no respect for us. So the programs you want to buy, J River is a good one. It's a little hard to use. The easiest and great sounding is Autorvana. Uh, I used to recommend our friends uh, that have, geez, uh, uh, 10 bucks for Bit Perfect. Unfortunately, it only works on a Mac and lately, uh, Max OS's have been confusing it. So for now, <clears throat> I would recommend Audirvana, A-U-D-I-R-V-A-N-A. -A. It works on Windows, it works on Mac, I, 70 bucks or something. So that's what you ought to do to get streaming on the cheap. You need a computer, a DAC, and a program like Audirvana to have it all sound right on the cheap. <laughs> okay. Thanks for the question. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.